Hi, let's review the key ideas of heat transfer method. So on your notes, try to look at how to fill in the blanks for these, for these, and also choose these four questions for radiation. Pause the video and do it now. A few moments later. Let's go with conduction first. Again, uh, for conduction, the key idea is they transfer the energy to the adjacent particle. So that's something you will want to pay attention to. Make sure you know how to spell adjacent. Second thing, higher temperature difference would cause a higher or greater rate of conduction. So obviously, um, when you put two objects that are of greater temperature together, for example, if you're putting 100 degrees Celsius of water into a cup versus maybe 50 degrees Celsius of water into a cup. Of course, the cup will get so much hotter for the 100 degrees Celsius. So that is a very simple idea. Uh, the third is talking about conductivity. So earlier we talked about metal. Uh, it's very conductive and that is something to do with the C of the electron. Uh, and the last one is something that I deliberately add up because I find out this is somehow a misconception from my previous student and they because they thought bubble wrap or cotton is um, good insulator but then they are actually not all right the key ideas of why they are good insulator is that the air are trapped inside so the air cannot move and so that makes these materials a good insulator as a whole but then knowing that bubble wrap is made of plastic but then it's quite thin, right? So it may not be a very good insulator anyway. It's more something to do with the air inside. For convection, uh, as we said, it can happen in liquid or gas, or you can call them fluid, F-L-U-I-D. Uh, and due to high temperature, they would expand. When they expand, they would decrease their density and therefore they will go up because less dense things will go up by its nature. For radiation, uh, we are mainly talking about infrared when we talk about heat transfer method. They are invisible, they do not require particles. For dull black, they will emit fast and absorb fast, like the rule of thumb that we talked about earlier. For shiny silver, they will emit slowly, absorb slowly because they would reflect the radiation a lot. For my reminder on the right hand side, by the way, yes, that is me uh, in the picture. Um, you have to see where the heat source is to see whether or not uh, the situation is emitting or absorbing. So for example, earlier we talked about uh, if you have a can and inside there are hot water. So what happens is they are going to emit the radiation out from the can. So this is emit. Well, if you have simply some water and maybe there are sun or any sort of heater nearby, and those infrared will try to go inside the can. So in this situation, you will consider absorbing. On to the next page. Try this yourself. Pause the video now. The first question is asking you why the pipes are made of copper. And so these are uh, the water pipes in the picture. Uh, in the past, I don't know why, I find out some students cannot understand this picture. This is a cross section uh, of the roof. And so this, of course, I mean, the pipe is cylindrical and therefore when you cut it, it's in circle shape. So the explanation is simply um, relating to physics that copper, if you remember, there was a demonstration showing you that the copper was the best conductor like among the different kinds, like, like steel was like the worst. So you can see that copper is a good thermal, I would like to add this, because you are talking about thermal, right? So it's nothing to do with electrical here. So thermal conductor, and therefore uh, you can kind of, if you want to say more, although it's just one point, you can see that uh, it can carry a weight, the heat, energy faster. Number two, 
saying that the metal backing sheets are plain painted black so like referring to these so obviously you can see that this is a house and sunlight going in and that means at this region this is indoor right where i don't know like whatever is people living inside or whatever it is and the design is that when you paint the back black uh, obviously the black color can absorb the radiation the most and so um, the purpose of this is to keep I mean since you have absorbed the radiation already then indoor will be cold so you can say keep the indoor cool I guess that's the purpose otherwise uh, people would not want to do this number three asking you why there are insulating material attached to the metal backing sheet so if you look at the picture very carefully now you can see that here are the insulating materials so I believe they are talking about like right here right why we need that insulation so obviously when you say insulating it's something to do with conduction okay so uh, we would want to reduce the heat lost to the surrounding by conduction because ultimately if you recall what you have learned in energy whoever built this wants to make solar panel so solar panel is not the the solar panel this is called more precisely photovoltaic uh, cell right which convert the light energy to voltage to electrical energy uh, solar panel is simply absorbing the radiation from the light and transfer it to the water so maybe people can use it for shower for uh, keeping the house warm or whatever so uh, we want to reduce the heat loss so that the whole process could be more efficient one thing to remind you is that the word reduce is very important and you should not confuse that with prevent think about why The reason is that when you say prevent, it means 100%. And in the world, there isn't really anything is 100%. So you can only reduce the amount, but not like reducing 100% of the heat lost. Just like you think that you will eventually find out your true love in your lifetime, Okay, okay, back to here. Uh, lastly, actually, there's a part, I don't know why it didn't get printed, but that is part four from the past paper, asking you why we need that trap air. Think about it. And guess what? We talk about conduction, we talk about radiation, and obviously this one will be something to do with convection. So this one, hopefully, is to reduce, once again, convection effect. So then um, the air cannot be moving out, and therefore to keep it warm inside this area.